This week's episode of Exceptional Family TV is brought to you by Invotech and its Be Extraordinary program. For more information, visit Invotech.org. Hello and welcome to Exceptional Family TV. Renee and I are here today with Larry Bohannon of the Quadricizer Corporation in Knoxville, Tennessee. Behind us, Zachary is in the Quadricizer. Now Larry, tell me, what, what's going on with this machine, a therapy, a piece of uh, therapy equipment, right? Well, it looks like Zachary's ha having a pretty good time. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> he has not stopped laughing since he got on the Quadricizer <laughs> about 20 minutes ago. Larry, so this is uh, the quadricizer we're going to put Zachary in. Okay, come here, Zachary. Oh my goodness, look at that boy go. So what is this doing for him right now? It's simulating crawling, if okay. you know what I mean. And uh, what this does, it's patterning and it's, doctors are telling me that it's reconnecting the pathways to the brain because you, you've got to send signals. What do you think, Zach? Because uh, his body doesn't normally move fast I know. like that, I so know. he loves it. <laughs> Look at that, buddy. What it's doing, it's moving all four limbs, and it's synchronized to walking or crawling, and it's pumping his ankles, it's giving him circulation, which is very much needed. And uh, doctors say that <clears throat> it helps with the neurological as much as it does the physical. How did you come up with the idea for this? Well, my father was 88 years old, a diabetic, and he kept having a lot of mini strokes and then a massive stroke to where he was in a fetal position. And uh, the doctor said, in seven days, we're gonna amputate his foot. And I said, wait a minute, isn't there something I can do? He said, well, Larry, he just lays there. He won't move. If we could get some movement, some circulation, we might postpone or prevent the amputation. I worked 28 years with Lo at Lockheed Martin. I help scientists and engineers with their inventions, their patents, and it just kind of come natural that, you know, there's got to be a better way. So I puzzled out and built a, a contraption over the weekend. And uh, my dad had laid there for two days without opening his eyes in a fetal position, and I slid it on the bed, put it between his legs, and his whole body was starting to move. The ladies that kept him said he opened his eyes for the first time in two days. So with, with moving, moving the limbs, what, um, what improvements have you seen overall from the time you started marketing it to therapy centers, to um, elderly homes, and, and to special needs, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, I had a cousin, he's a level C3, C4 quadriplegic. He could move his hands like this. Uh, he broke his neck on a motorcycle, so he had been paralyzed 11 years. And I said, I'll tell you what, I'll build you a quadricizer if you'd like. And he said, I'd love it. So he said, but could you get my hands up? Now in my dad's, it only went like this. Okay. But with him, I started getting it up like this so he could get a higher range of motion. I didn't know what that would do, but I couldn't believe the results. I built him a quadricizer, and nine days after he started using it, his cowboy hat blew off of his head and he caught it. And he hadn't moved in 11 years. Wow. That's when I realized I had something. That's pretty amazing that how that just kind of went into play, that it started with your dad and just as this small machine, and then you happen to have another family member that made it actually reach a point to where you realized this was really something that could be used for a large amount of people. Right. You know, it seemed to be taken off. You know, I was helping other people. I was building them and giving them away. I can't do that now. Well, let's talk about the what the P and A stands for in your logo. Passive active movement? Yes. Uh, what it does, it's passive. See, he's not doing, he doesn't have to do anything. Right. And we really encourage, you know, to be passive when you first start. But it was like my cousin, he couldn't move his limbs at all. And one day his wife, on the first one it had a loud noise, his wife said, sometimes the motor don't sound as loud. He said, that's because I'm doing it. And she said, you're doing it? He said, yeah, I'm doing this. You know, she didn't know he could pull on it. But see, passively it's taking his hand up, but it's sending signals to the brain is what doctors and therapists tell me. 
It's reconnecting pathways. What types of people can use it? Everybody, you know. Even I'm a healthy person, but I use it 30 minutes every day. What have you seen? What has it done, done for you? You, know, well, you look like a healthy, healthy young man. Well, I'll be 68 next month, and I use it 30 minutes, and I water ski. I, I used, I could do it about 10 years ago. I could stand on a round disc and put a chair on top of it, and then stand on top of the chair. And uh, what got me started is my grandson, three-year-old. He said, "Mama, is Papa gonna have a baby?" I did. I looked pregnant, and my. <laughs> So I got on the quadricizer and I lost 20 pounds in two months and then I lost another eight pounds. Wow. Three and a half inches around my waist, which I'd been trying forever to lose my midsection. <laughs> and what's, what's a recommended time length to use it each, mm -hmm. is it every day? I use it every day and I can't say how much because I'm not a doctor, but I do know that people that use it uh, 30 minutes twice a day or even more are the ones that seem to benefit the most. Now there's a local family, the McCamey family, that you're near and dear to, and their son Sam uses the quadricizer. Right. Well, yep. Well, the newspaper wanted to do a story, and when I go do a presentation at a rehab center, I always ask them to bring their patients, the worst they've got, because you're not going to believe what will happen. I can't say that they're going to raise their hand, but when they see that for the first time, and that's exactly what happened to Sam. When the newspaper come out to do the story, um, when Sam got off the quadricizer, he raised his hand up higher than his, just straight up for the first time. He'd never been able to walk without scissoring. He always stepped on his toes. And he had never been able to drink water by himself without spilling it. And um, crawling, he'd never been able to crawl. He just bunny hopped. Well, he did all of that and some other things too. Wow. In one hour on the quadricizer. Just after one session, one hour. One session. Now their family uses it every day. <laughs> and uh, they just came to do the story with the new Sentinel. They said they were fixing to take Sam to get Botox because he was getting so contracted. Well, he's not contracted now. And it just took one session. I know it, see, I can't tell people that, but they can see it. And, and the best use is, is, especially for somebody like Zach, who, you know, we have to put him on the floor because he can't crawl, he can't walk right now. And so this is giving him those movements consistently. Yes. Well, thank you very much, Larry, for taking the time to join us. This is a, this is a very interesting contraption, and Zach has loved it. I can't wait to see his improvements here after we uh, finish out an hour of him being on it. Okay. And thank you, too, for watching. Be sure to comment on the episode below. Let us know what you think. And check out Larry's website at www.quadricizer.com. We'll see you next week for another edition of Exceptional Family TV.